St. Matthews, Maryland Community Ministry has been serving the inner city of Winnipeg since 1972. The ministry is a partnership between the United Church, St. Matthews Anglican Parish, and the newest partner, Grain of Wheat. The ministry is situated in the lower level of West End Commons, formerly the Anglican Church, and offers a rich variety of programs to serve the needs of the community. Volunteers staff much-needed programs like the Food Supplement Program, the Drop-In, and First Steps to Employment. Church volunteers put their faith into action, while community volunteers feel able to give something back. The United Church is one of the founding partners, and through support from the Mission and Service Fund and legacy funding from two former congregations, the Church maintains a presence in the community. Partnership is absolutely central to the mission statement of St. Matthew's Maryland Community Ministry. We talk about building community well-being. You can only do that if you're in partnership with organizations in the neighborhood, but also with the community of people who live here. St. Matthew's Anglican Parish, the other founding partner, has served the neighborhood since the early 1900s and is undergoing a transformation that will see the building repurposed into new affordable housing units. I think the work of uh, meeting basic needs, developing capacity, challenging the deep divisions that there are in our community is best done by bridging those differences by working together. We cannot build community without being community. Grain of Wheat, the ministry's newest partner, is an ecumenical congregation influenced by a variety of Christian streams and largely rooted in the Mennonite faith. Well, ecumenical partnerships, I think, offer a number of things. Um, they promote understanding, for one thing, and acceptance of differences, and I think we want to carry that out into the community. Being involved with community ministries um, sharpens your awareness of people's needs and differences. For others looking to form ecumenical partnership, I would encourage you to nurture the relationships that you have, but uh, to never forget that the most important relationship that you have, the most important partnership that you have, is with the community you serve. This exciting partnership is made possible by gifts to the mission and service of the United Church of Canada. Thank you, and please continue to give.